Hi, my name is Natasha Jonathan. I am a crochet tutor at My Creative Butterfly where we transform strings to pretty things. I teach crochet through my courses, classes and patterns not just as a hobby but also as a tool that will help you focus and concentrate better in everything that you do. I've been crocheting for 25 years in which I have taught over 1000 students globally. I design crochet patterns and classes from beginner till advanced level crocheters. You can find me on all social media platforms by the name My Creative Butterfly and to know more about me you can visit my website www.mycreativebutterfly.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel and if you like what you learned today don't forget to like and subscribe. In this video today I'll show you how to crochet this pretty spring flower photo frame. Let us start with the materials. We are going to need a size 10 100% cotton crochet thread. I'm using in four colors, purple, peach, light blue and leaf green. For this you'll need a 2mm crochet hook, sharp pair of scissors, glue gun, And a photo frame on which you will be doing the decoration. With this you will also need pearl beads. These are half pearls. I am using the plastic half pearls. If you want you can also use rhinestones. And some good quality fabric glue. We will start with this roll up rose first. So start with the blue thread. Place a slip knot on the hook first. Now do 4 chains. Now make a double crochet in the 4th chain from the hook. Repeat the same thing again. 4 chains and a double crochet in the 4th chain from the hook. This will create these gaps. We are going to place a petal in each of these gaps. So repeat this a total of 10 times till you have 10 such gaps so that we can make 10 petals for the flower. So keep repeating the same pattern. 4 chains, a double crochet in the 4th chain from the hook. Again 4 chains, double crochet in the 4th chain from the hook. 4 chains, again a double crochet. Again 4 chains and a double crochet. Keep repeating this till you have a total of 10 gaps, 4 chains, double crochet in the 4th chain from the hook. I am making the double crochet in the top chain, the front loop of the top chain and the vertical top bar of the double crochet. I find it more sturdy but you can also place the double crochet in the 4th chain that also would do. It won't make any difference. So here I am done with the 10 gaps. Now let us see how to do the petals. So for the petal, do a chain 1 and flip the chain over. Now insert the hook in the first gap and place a slip stitch here. Now we'll start making the petals. So do chain 2 and 5 double crochets in the same gap. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now do 2 chains again, 1 and 2 and place a slip stitch in the same gap. This completes the first petal. Now just keep repeating the same pattern 10 times till you have a total of 10 petals. So I'll repeat the pattern one more time. Place a slip stitch in the next gap. Chain 2. 1, 2. Now 5 double crochets in the same gap. 1, 2, 3, 
फोर एंड फाइव नाउ अगेन चेन टू एंड अ स्लिप स्टिच इन द सेम गैप इसके प्रिपेटिंग द सेम पैटर्न स्लिप स्टिच चेन टू फाइव डबल क्रोशेज चेन टू एंड स्लिप स्टिच इन द नेक्स्ट गैप डू दिस टेन टाइम्स टिल यू हैव अ टोटल ऑफ टेन पेटल्स फॉर योर रोज slip stitch in the next gap chain 2 five double crochets 1 2 3 4 and 5 chain 2 slip stitch in the same gap chain 2 and a slip stitch in the last gap so with this we are done with 10 petals now take the scissors cut off the thread leaving a small 2 to 3 inch tail secure the end that's it our roll up rows is done now start rolling from the petal on which you have left the tails of the thread keep rolling it tightly like this and your rows is ready now the next element that we'll do is the Five, six petal pointy petal flower so we'll start with the peach thread for this do a magic ring for doing a magic ring wrap the yarn two times around your index finger insert the hook under both the loops gently remove the loops from your finger place a slip stitch in this ring and your magic ring is ready now place six single crochets in this magic ring that will make the center of the flower 3 4 5 and 6 now close the magic ring by pulling the starting tail of thread very tight till the center of the uh, ring disappears like this Now to complete the circle place a slip stitch in the first single crochet of this round and the flower center will be ready insert the hook in the first single crochet and place a slip stitch here There you go the center of the flower is ready now let us see how to do the petals for the petals start with a slip stitch in slip stitch in the next stitch Now do 3 chains 1 2 and 3 and a triple crochet in the same stitch After the triple crochet we'll do a picot So for a picot do chain 
वन टू एंड थ्री नाउ प्लेस स्लिप स्टेज अंडर दीज टू बार्स सी वेर आई एम इंसर्टिंग द हुक अंडर दीज टू बार्स प्लेस अ स्लिप स्टेज हेयर यू कैन नॉर्मली डू अ पिको अ पिको कैन बी डन इन थ्री फोर डिफरेंट पेज यू कैन अप्लाई एनी मेथड दैट यू लाइक नाउ अगेन डू अ ट्रिपल क्रोश हेयर इन द सेम स्टिच again chain 3 1 2 3 and a slip stitch in the same stitch this completes your first petal now you'll repeat the same pattern five more times till you have a total of six petals so i'll repeat it one more time start with a slip stitch in the next stitch chain 3 a triple crochet in the same stitch a three chain pico 1 2 3 and a slip stitch that will make a pico again a triple crochet in the same stitch chain 3 1 2 3 and a slip stitch in the same stitch now repeat the same pattern four more times till you have a total six petals three chains for the last petal and a slip stitch now to finish it off we'll place a slip stitch at the base of the first petal here place a slip stitch now take the scissors cut off the thread leaving a 3 4 inches tail secure the end now pass the thread to the back of the flower like this and the flower is done now the next element is this popcorn stitch flower for this we'll use the lavender thread that is the light purple thread This is a popcorn stitch flower. So take the purple thread. The center will be same as we did for the previous flower, but I'll still repeat it one more time. So we'll start with a magic ring. So wrap the yarn two times around your index finger. Insert the hook under both the loops. Place a slip stitch, and your magic ring is ready. Now place six single crochets in this ring. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now close the magic ring by pulling the starting tail of thread tightly. Now to complete the ring, place a slip stitch in the first single crochet. Place a slip stitch here, and the flower center is ready. That's it. Now let us see how to do the petals. So before we start with the first petal, uh, we'll do a slip stitch in the next stitch. place a slip stitch in the next stitch 
now starting the petal with two three chains now in the same stitch make three double crochet the first chain three will be counted as the first double crochet so we'll do three more double crochets that will make a total of four double crochet stitches in the same stitch so do three double crochets Now expand the loop a little that is on the hook and remove the hook. Insert the hook in the top of the first chain 3 that we made. Now again pull the loop that we just uh, expanded there and pull it through the chain there. This completes your popcorn stitch. Now make chain 2. Now in the next stitch of the previous round make four double crochets make four double crochets in this stitch one two three and four Again expand the hook, expand the loop sorry and remove the hook. Now insert the hook in the first double crochet of these four double crochets that we made. Insert the hook in the fourth uh, first double crochet. Now insert the hook in the expanded loop and pull that loop through that double crochet stitch. Now pull this loop through that double crochet loop stitch like this and your second popcorn leaf is ready. Now just repeat this a total 4 times more till you have a total of 6 petals and your flower will be done. So start again, chain 2, 4 double crochets in the next stitch. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. Again expand the loop, remove the hook and insert the hook in the first double crochet of these four double crochets set. Now pull the expanded loop through the double crochet and your popcorn is done. Again chain two, four double crochets in the next stitch and again do a popcorn there. And this is your last popcorn pull it now to finish make two chains and place a slip stitch in the first popcorn stitch that you made flip the flower over so that you can see the stitch make a slip stitch here in the popcorn stitch and we are done with the flower so this is the popcorn petal flower again repeat the same thing cut off the thread leaving a two to three inch tail of thread 
and secure the end. So with this we are done with the third element that is the third flower for the photo frame. Now only one element is remaining that is the leaf. So let us see how to do the leaf. So take the leaf green thread. Take a leaf green thread and we'll start the leaf with a slip knot. So place a slip knot on your hook. Place a slip knot. Now make 10 chains. The base of the leaf is done over 10 chains. So make 10 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now to make the leaf start working from the second chain from the hook. So place a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. In the next chain, do a single crochet. Do a half double crochet in the next chain. In the next four chains, do double crochet. One double crochet each in the next four chains. So this is one. Repeat the same thing in the next chain. This is two. Again, in the next chain, do a double crochet. That will be third one. This is three. Repeat it one more time. In the next chain, again, do a double crochet. So this is four. Now do a half double crochet in the next chain. In the last remaining chain, do a single crochet. In the last remaining chain here, do a single crochet. So this completes your leaf motif. That's it. You are done with the leaf. Cut off the thread leaving a 4 to 5 inches long tail. And secure the end. Cut it off and secure the end. So that's it. This is the fourth element of the flower. Uh, sorry, of the photo frame. Now you need to make one roll up rose. You will need two pointy petal flowers. I have made two. And you will need two popcorn, uh, popcorn petal flowers. And you will need four leaves. One, two, three and four. Now this is how I design my photo frame. It depends on you. If you want you can make lesser flowers. If you want you can make more flowers. If you want you can cover the entire photo frame with flowers. It depends entirely upon you. So for this particular sample that we will be doing, you need to make these many flowers. One roll up, two pointy petal, two popcorn and five uh, leaves. Now let us just arrange the flowers once on the frame and see how they look. So I'll be placing the roll up rows at the corner and then the pointy petals right next to them and then the popcorn flower in the outermost. There you go. Now we'll see how to place the leaves. It is, it, it is a good idea to arrange the flowers on the frame once to see whether you are liking the uh, finished look of the frame. Then we can start gluing. So I think I like this arrangement. So we'll go with it. So before we start, let us uh, uh, finish off the ends. So what I'll do is just tie two square knots in both the tails. Of all the motifs, all the leaves and the flowers do the same thing. Tie two square knots tightly and then just cut off the thread leaving a very small that is one half a centimeter tail and then just cut off the thread. We don't need to weave them in because we'll be gluing it so all the ends will hide. So just tie both the ends together and then just cut them off. Repeat that with all the motifs and then we can start gluing them. Just tie the knots tightly so that they don't open. Once you apply the glue, the knots will obviously be secured. So don't worry too much about them. 
just cut them off tie them and just cut them off do that with all the motifs that's it now let us start gluing the motifs to the frame so heat up the glue gun we'll just arrange the flowers one more time to see that we are happy with the arrangement and then we'll start gluing it so just follow the video here and uh, arrange the flowers and then just start gluing them If you don't want to use glue gun, I find glue gun a little messy. If you don't want to do that, you can also use the fabric glue for uh, uh, attaching the flowers as well. It takes a little time to dry. That is why I have used glue gun for attaching the flowers, for uh, pasting the flowers to the frame. You can use fabric glue or any other glue of your choice. So that's it, we are done with pasting all the motifs to the frame. Now we, on the remaining part of the black part of the frame, I will just paste some um, half pearls that we have that we will do with the help of the fabric glue. So what I will do is I will just randomly put fabric glue dots uh, but before we start uh, pasting those on the frame. 
let us paste one pearl at the center of each flower here so just place a small dab of fabric glue at the center of the flowers and place one half pearl at the on the glue dots it is a good idea to use a tweezer if you want you can also use your hands to lift up the pearls i have long nails so it is very difficult to pick up the pearls that is why i prefer using a tweezer now just place random dots all over the frame and keep placing a half pearl on each dot and your frame again will be ready If you want you can make a nice border with the pearls that depends on you I like the random effect that is why I'm just putting the uh, dots randomly Now just place one pearl on each dot As you can see that using a tweezers will make the work slightly easy so it is a good idea to use them. If you don't have these it is, you can also do this with your hand that is perfectly fine. Now once you are done with this just let it dry completely at least for 24 hours because fabric glue takes that much time to dry. Once it is dry you are ready to use the frame. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it. Once you are done with the frame please take a few minutes to leave a review. Also if you liked what you learned today don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Also click on the notification tab the bell icon so that you never miss a new video that I put up. If you want more such hints and tips and some more tutorials like this you can join my exclusive Facebook community. I provided the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.